Hi, boys and girls. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's pray before we start. Our Father, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you today. We thank you for this time. We thank you for great servants in Zimbabwe who have managed to get their results and are busy looking for places for Form 1. I pray that, Lord, you help every one of them in Jesus' name, that, Lord, they'll find places and that they'll find favor. Lord, thank you for this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, um, yeah, congratulations to grade sevens for finishing your exams and now busy looking for places. May the Lord help you and guide you um, so that you go where you want and uh, you provide school fees for parents. Uh, we have an interesting story today which we find in Matthew chapter 2 from verse 1 to 12. Um, I will let you watch this small video clip. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way, and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy, and going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. Now, let's make certain things clear, boys and girls. Uh, when the Magi visited these wise men from the east, when they visited Jesus, Jesus was almost two years old. He was not sleeping in a manger, so there were no animals around him. He was now sleeping in the house. That's what the Bible says um, from the portion we just read. Jesus was now sleeping in a house, okay? So the Maggi saw him in a house, not in some uh, place where animals are kept. The other thing I want to say um, these Magi were not Christians, okay? They were rich, obviously, uh, and they were wise men. That means they were very knowledgeable about things. Uh, we don't know how many they were. Uh, most people, pictures and even what you just saw gives an idea that there were three. We don't know that because the Bible doesn't say so. Um, and... Um, I'm sure you were acting at school, Mary and a donkey. I also have not seen that in the Bible. Now, um, in the 
portion of scripture we read and the other parts from the book of Matthew, Matthew wanted to convince early Christians that Jesus' birth was not just for Jews, but for Gentiles too. These guys, the Magi, the wise men, were coming from far, from the east, and they were not Christians. They were not, uh, let me say, they were not worshippers of the true God of the Jews. So he tells of the wise men who came from the east, far from Israel. Um, and last week we read about the shepherds who, um, in the, the other gospel, Luke emphasizes that they were lowly people, but also had an opportunity of seeing Jesus. The name Maggi um, has a lot of history behind it. These guys were skilled in astronomy and astrology. Uh, these two were kind of closely related then, but today, yeah, astrology is associated with occult practices that is it's not christian it's uh pagan that's people worship other things um and the interesting thing boys and girls remember i said these guys were also called wise men the word magic comes from magi and the word magician is also coming from magi um so they were associated with that. The Magi traveled long to worship Jesus. And importantly, they knew that he had been born. Where is the king? Okay. Now, uh, if you read the scripture, um, there is, verse 2 says, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and they've come to worship him. Now, the Bible says in verse 3, when King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. Now, I think, uh, again, boys and girls, we need to make sure that we say the correct things about the Bible. I think these people were moving around asking um, many people and some people pointed them to King Herod um, to ask about the king and who had been born. And Herod was not happy. He was not happy at all about uh, another king being born. That meant he was going to be removed from his Positioned by this new king. Uh, the next portion of scripture uh, talks about how he went mad and he started killing everyone, um, all children who were two years and below. Um, so I will we'll leave it there for King Herod. He was not happy, okay? He even lies and says, I also want to worship him. Go and find out. Uh, where he is so that I can also come and worship him. No, he was not speaking the truth. So when the Magi managed to see the star, uh, which for me, I think it was the glory of God, um, they went into the house and they gave gifts to Jesus, who was not... Maybe you could say still young, two years old. Um, and I know a lot of you boys and girls, this time you're expecting Christmas gifts. But the Maggi gave the gifts to Jesus. Now, when people celebrate your birthday, who do they give gifts? Do they give somebody else or they give you? So Christmas is Jesus' birthday. 
So who's supposed to get gifts? In Matthew chapter 25, verse 40, this is what the Bible says. The king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. So boys and girls, we may not know exactly where to give Jesus his gift, but here he's telling us, whatever we do for other people, we are doing it to him. Plan to give Jesus gifts, Jesus gift by giving others. Let me repeat that. Plan to give as we celebrate Jesus' birthday, Christmas. Plan to give him a gift by giving somebody else. I hope it makes sense. Let me finish by saying this, boys and girls. Last week, we saw how the outcasts, the shepherds, who were not wanted anywhere near because they were considered unclean, how they saw the light and worshipped Jesus. Today we see the magi, the wise men, the pagans, not Christians, um, worshipping all kinds of things. But also, they have seen the light. They are worshipping him. They are worshipping Jesus. They Obviously, if they could afford those gifts, we're not poor. It also gives us hope, boys and girls, that good news is not just for the poor. It's for the rich. It's for those who don't know him. It's for everyone. In John chapter 10, verse 10, the Bible says, The thief comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. I came that they might have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Jesus came that everyone might have life. And boys and girls, Jesus is the light of the world. The poor, the rich, the outcasts, those involved in things that don't please Jesus can also be, see the light and worship him. This Christmas, boys and girls, plan to spread the good news by sharing Jesus to everyone so that they may also see and worship Jesus, the light. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for every boy and girl. I pray, Lord, that everyone, whatever their situation, their condition, speak to them like you did to the Maggie. And they came, saw the light, and worshipped Jesus. I pray that, Lord, the same will happen to every boy and girl who doesn't know Jesus. And Father, even their friends and family during this Christmas, may they take them to Jesus, the light of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.